a new industrial revolution. It does quadrillions of calculations a second. It's just insane numbers. These servers are the densest computers in the world. This replaces entire data centers in the past. We improved the performance of one of these chips by a thousand times in the last eight years. With the relentless pursuit of quantum supremacy, NVIDIA has shattered the boundaries of quantum computing with the unveiling of its mind-blowing CUDA Q centers. But this isn't just another scientific breakthrough. This is a game changer with the potential to redefine the future of computing and impact every aspect of our lives, unlocking possibilities we never thought imaginable. Let's start. NVIDIA shatters or quantum computing. Since its founding in 1993, NVIDIA has been at the forefront of accelerated computing. The company made a breakthrough in 1999 with the invention of the graphics processing unit, which revolutionized the PC gaming market and changed the way we think about computer graphics. This innovation also laid the groundwork for the era of modern artificial intelligence and has been a key driver in the digital transformation of industries across the board. Today, NVIDIA has evolved from focusing solely on GPUs to becoming a full-stack computing infrastructure company. This means they now provide comprehensive solutions that include data centers and large-scale computing systems, which are reshaping various industries by making powerful computing capabilities more widely available and efficient. Now, NVIDIA has made a breakthrough in quantum computing with the introduction of its new Q2Q centers. These centers are designed to integrate the principles of quantum mechanics with NVIDIA's existing technology. Quantum computing is a new frontier that promises to solve problems that are currently beyond the reach of classical computers. Through the combination of quantum mechanics with its powerful infrastructure, NVIDIA aims to make quantum computing more accessible and practical. This advancement puts NVIDIA at the cutting edge of quantum technology, opening up new possibilities for the future of computing. With their pioneering efforts in both AI and quantum computing, NVIDIA continues to lead the way in technological innovation, paving the path for exciting developments in the digital world. So what exactly is NVIDIA CUDA-Q? CUDA-Q is NVIDIA's open source platform for hybrid quantum computing. This means it helps combine quantum computers with traditional computers to work together effectively. CUDA-Q provides tools to simulate and program these hybrid systems, making it easier for scientists and developers to use quantum computing. NVIDIA CUDA-Q is widely used by most companies that are deploying quantum processing units. Many businesses working with quantum computers rely on CUDA-Q for its powerful and flexible platform to help them get the most out of their QPUs. Quantum processing units are at the heart of quantum computers. Unlike regular processors, QPUs use the unique properties of tiny particles like electrons or photons to perform calculations in a completely different way. This special way of computing can potentially solve certain problems much faster than traditional computers. CUDA-Q stands out because it's open source, meaning anyone can use and improve it for free, and it's QPU agnostic, which means it can work with any type of QPU. This flexibility makes CUDA-Q very popular among companies that are using QPUs. One of the main benefits of CUDA-Q is its ability to tightly integrate quantum computers with supercomputers. Supercomputers are extremely powerful traditional computers used for complex calculations. By combining the strengths of quantum computers and supercomputers, CUDA-Q enables powerful new computing possibilities. This integration is particularly useful for tackling some of the biggest challenges in quantum computing. For example, qubits, the basic units of quantum information, are very sensitive and can easily be disturbed by noise, making them noisy. Q2Q helps manage this noise and improve the efficiency of quantum algorithms, which are step-by-step -step instructions for solving problems on quantum computers. Another exciting aspect of Q2Q is its potential to enhance artificial intelligence. Quantum computing can provide new ways to process and analyze large amounts of data, making AI systems smarter and faster. By using Q2Q, researchers can explore how quantum computing can solve complex problems in AI leading to more advanced and efficient AI technologies. CUDA-Q is a powerful tool that brings together the best of quantum and traditional computing. It makes it easier for companies to use quantum technology, helps solve important challenges, and opens up new possibilities in fields like AI. NVIDIA's CUDA-Q platform is paving the way for the future of computing 
by making quantum computing more accessible and effective. NVIDIA partners with three centers. NVIDIA announced at the annual ISC High Performance Conference in Hamburg, Germany, that it will speed up quantum computing efforts at national supercomputing centers around the world using its open source CUDAQ platform. This platform helps integrate quantum computers with traditional high performance computing systems. NVIDIA revealed that three major supercomputing centers in Germany, Japan, and Poland will start using the CUDAQ platform. This will support the installation of quantum processing units within their NVIDIA accelerated high performance computing systems. These centers will benefit from the advanced capabilities of combining quantum and traditional computing to tackle complex problems more effectively. Germany's Ulich Supercomputing Center, JSC at Forschungszentrum Ulich, FZJ, is getting a new addition to its supercomputing family, a superconducting quantum processing unit. This QPU, built by IQM Quantum Computers, will join the center's powerful Jupiter supercomputer. The Jupiter is Europe's first exascale supercomputer, which means it's incredibly fast and can handle massive amounts of data. It's going to be packed with 24,000 NVIDIA GH200 superchips, making it one of the most powerful computers in Europe. Meanwhile, in Poland, the Poznan Supercomputing and Networking Center, PSNC, has added two photonic QPUs to its lineup. These QPUs, built by Orca Computing, a UK-based company specializing in photonic quantum computing will be connected to a new supercomputer partition. This partition will be powered by NVIDIA H100S, another powerful chip from NVIDIA. In Japan, the National Institute of Advanced Industrial Science and Technology is gearing up to deploy a QPU from Quera on its ABCIQ supercomputer. This machine, set to be put into action early next year, will also boast 2,000 NVIDIA H100 GPUs. The ABCIQ supercomputer is specifically designed to work with future quantum hardware, making it a cutting-edge addition to Japan's computing capabilities. Nine new supercomputers around the world are now powered by NVIDIA Grace Hopper superchips. These superchips are designed to speed up scientific research and discovery by processing huge amounts of data incredibly fast. Altogether, these new supercomputers can perform a mind-boggling 200 exaflops of calculations per second. To put that into perspective, that's 200 quintillion calculations every single second. What's even more impressive is that all this processing power comes with energy-efficient AI capabilities, making these systems not only powerful, but also environmentally friendly. Some of the supercomputers that are now using NVIDIA Grace Hopper superchips include the XA1HE in France, which is a collaboration between CEA and Evident. There's also Helios at the Academic Computer Center Cypernet in Poland, as well as Alps at the Swiss National Supercomputing Center, which is provided by HPE. With these supercomputers now equipped with NVIDIA's cutting-edge technology, researchers and scientists around the world will be able to tackle complex problems and make groundbreaking discoveries faster than ever before. From advancing medical research to understanding climate change, the possibilities are endless with these high-performance computing systems. One of these supercomputers is Isambard AI, located at the University of Bristol in the UK. Alongside Isambard 3, another powerful system at the university, Isambard AI is helping the UK establish itself as a global leader in AI research. According to Professor Simon McIntosh-Smith from the University of Bristol, Isambard AI will play a crucial role in fostering open science innovation both within the UK and internationally. In addition to Isambard AI, other supercomputers at prestigious institutions like the Los Alamos National Laboratory and the Texas Advanced Computing Center in the US are also benefiting from NVIDIA's Grace CPU Superchips and Grace Hopper platform. These collaborations highlight the growing importance of AI in driving scientific discovery and innovation across the globe. With NVIDIA's cutting-edge technology powering these supercomputers, researchers and scientists have access to unprecedented computational power. This enables them to tackle some of the world's most pressing challenges and accelerate progress in critical areas of research and development. From understanding climate change to discovering new medicines, these ARM-based supercomputers are making a significant impact on the future of science and technology. Benefits of NVIDIA CUDAQ centers. Each of these facilities' quantum processing units offers exciting possibilities for research and innovation. 
AIST, for example, is exploring the potential of rubidium-based qubits in various fields such as artificial intelligence, energy, and biology. These qubits, which are tiny particles used for calculations in quantum computers, are controlled using laser light. Interestingly, rubidium atoms are also used in precision atomic clocks because they are all identical, which makes them very reliable for large-scale quantum processors. On the other hand, PSNC's quantum photonic systems use single photons, the smallest units of light, as qubits. These photons operate at telecom frequencies and are being employed in research areas like biology, chemistry, and machine learning. This approach offers a distributed, scalable, and modular quantum architecture, meaning it can be expanded and customized according to specific research needs. Both AIST and PSNC are at the forefront of quantum computing research, each focusing on different types of qubits and applications. Their work has the potential to pave the way for groundbreaking discoveries and advancements in science and technology. The team effort between ORCA, NVIDIA, and PSNC has created something special, a hybrid system that brings together multiple quantum processing units and graphics processing units. This collaboration is highly important for both developers and users because it means we're entering a whole new era of supercomputers that combine the power of quantum and traditional computing. This teamwork is making it possible to build supercomputers that can do amazing things right now, not just in the future. For example, at JSC, they're integrating a QPU with their Jupiter supercomputer. This combination will drive progress in quantum computing, chemistry, and material science. With the QPU working alongside Jupiter, researchers at JSC can create new quantum applications for simulating chemicals and solving complex problems. They can also show how quantum computers can speed up classical supercomputers. The QPU uses superconducting qubits, which are like tiny electronic circuits that act as artificial atoms when cooled down to really low temperatures. NVIDIA's quantum computing platform is empowering pioneers like AIST, JSC, and PSNC to push the boundaries of scientific discovery. By combining quantum and traditional computing in supercomputers, we're taking a big leap forward in technology. This collaboration is helping us move closer to solving some of the world's toughest problems and making incredible discoveries along the way. If you have made it this far, let us know what you think in the comment section below. For more interesting topics, make sure you watch the recommended video that you see on the screen right now. Thanks for watching.